Welcome back to the channel and today we're reacting to when cops decide they want to attack their partner and not the suspect. If you guys do enjoy, make sure to hit that like, hit that subscribe, ring that notification bell. Other than that, let's hop into the video. These were moments when police officers attacked their partner, starting oh with the police boy. sergeant who beat up his police chief. This entire confrontation began on November 9th, 2020. You know, he don't have a job Beach anymore. Police officers stopped a car for a possible You beat up your walk. chief? Unexpectedly, <laughs> their department chief, Leonard Mina, like body arrived slam at him? the traffic stop, intoxicated. Why do you gotta check it on the, the, the stuff that we want? What's on the back of it? What do you mean? Look at the tell me what's on the back of it. Uh, the, the, it washed off. Yeah, then get rid of it. Okay. That's ridiculous. Okay. The sergeant forgot. Okay, chief. Let me work this DWI, okay? The department's chief pulled aside the sergeant in charge of the traffic stop due to an issue Ooh. with a peeled off jacket imprint. However, as the sergeant complied and resumed his DUI investigation, the chief decided he wasn't finished scolding the sergeant yet, leading to a very heated encounter. Oh, chief, no. I'm I don't have time to argue about a jacket, okay? Don't you touch me. Don't you touch me. Don't you fucking touch me. You have a problem? Fuck. You grab me. What? Now get out of here. Oh my goodness. Take him in. Take him in. No, you're gonna go in. Take him in. Oh my goodness, bro. Homie the just lost his job within again, seconds. That this wasn't the first time the chief had pulled a ridiculous stunt like this. You might expect the chief to sulk and leave with his Oh, tail shoot. His the legs, chief is under the intoxication. To do something even worse. Oh. No. Chief, get out of here or you're gonna get locked up. Chief, you're gonna get locked up. You're Why is he? I asked you three times to leave me alone. He's drunk. Obstructing my DWI. Billy, really, come over here. Uh, let me go. That's the first thing. Put Billy. I'm, I'm totally shut, away from everybody. shut up because you're in trouble now. Stop. No, I'm Please not in trouble. Stop. 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 You're gonna be in trouble. Stop, stop. Billy. Stop. Billy. Chief, I'm Billy, working at DWI. I'm listening to you. Okay. Is he drunk? No, I'm confused. First, thing. first, first of all. I was about to say to you, you stupid. I was about to say to you, what do you need OEM for? You're, that's, you're embarrassing me in front of the men about no, the jacket. No, 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 no. That's, that's neither here nor there. I don't even know what that, OEM stands for. Now we got a real fucking problem, Billy. Yeah, we do. Billy, you're not doing anything when I'm on the scene, okay? You should know better than this, my friend. No. Listen to me. Grab me. No, I said come over line. here. You're out of line. You grab me. Some uh, video. Billy. Some video. I'm Billy. not going to argue with it. I have a uh, crash Billy. to work. Billy. I have a job Billy. to do. Billy, you're okay. relieved. Billy, you're relieved. No, Chief. No, Billy. Please, Billy. Don't. You're suspended, Billy. I'm you're suspended? suspended? Yes. Okay. I'm, I'm yeah. suspended. I'm going home. Yes. Billy, come here. I'm going home. You're going I, no, we can't talk. No. I'm suspended. No, no, no. No, no, no. I'm suspended. I'm you're going, going to home. And you're going to wait for me there. No, I'm not. I'm, I'm suspended. Gonna go I'm going home. You're going to go into headquarters and wait for me there. Well, let me work my crash. No, no, this no. This is why no, I'm no, here. Billy, you're suspended. All right, if I'm suspended, then I'm not going to wait inside. Nothing no, more. No, 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 Billy. You have to. You have to make it. Okay. Billy, you're suspended. As the sergeant began, I to think leave he the scene, was pretty the clear the first time he said it. Power trip escalated his unruly behavior by intimidating. I think the chief needs to be thrown out. I think the sergeant handles that pretty, you know, mature. Other than throwing him on top of the car for just grabbing him, I think that that encounter was definitely immature. But I will say though, the chief is obstructing an accident between it looks like a DUI occupant. We're gonna talk about that later. But we're definitely going to get some more context on this. Unfortunately for the chief, his powers failed him as he was placed on administrative leave pending Ooh! investigations into his actions that day by the Monmouth County Man, Prosecutor's the chief Office. Got the sir. sergeant resumed work the following day. See, and I love seeing that because, dude, the chief was definitely on a power trip. He was trying to overrule that officer on the scene, like taking him away and obstructing him from doing his work. Honestly, technically, if that would have been anybody else other than the chief, they would have been obstructed right off that scene or possibly even arrested for infringement of like an investigation but was the chief intoxicated like he was like stumbling repeating himself all i gotta say is that chief he was on the power trip and he deserved every ounce of what he got that sergeant was just trying to do his job in the next case the aggressive police sergeant nearly choked his junior colleague to death on november 19th oh my bro while making an arrest on a resisting suspect sunrise police sergeant christopher police did something completely unbelievable as the suspect can 
continued to defy orders. Watch your head getting into the car. Ah, miss, can you stop just, pulling the car? Just get in the car. Bro, the this is going to be an interesting one. A cop should never present himself like that. No way, homie just threatened him like that. Yeah, no, you're done, bro. You're done. Ain't no way you just choked one of your colleagues. Even oh, will you? Colleagues weren't Homie's gonna pack your bag. A junior officer who tried to intervene to protect the suspect ended up being choked, threatened, and nearly pepper sprayed. However, the officer faced oh, serious my consequences goodness. for his actions. He was charged with battery and assault Woo! on a law enforcement officer, assault on a oh, civilian, and tampering shoot! with evidence by deleting texts threatening officers who witnessed the incident to remain silent. He done messed up. Why would you even choke out your partner that? Pulled you away from the suspect that you were getting too aggressive with. Homie needs to go see a therapist. Check out his anger issues. Because even as a cop, your biggest weapon is your voice. And will forever be your voice. He was escalating the scene more than he was assisting on the scene. And that junior officer made a great choice to pull him away before he even got in trouble with the suspect and caused the entire department a lawsuit. You touch a suspect in any way, shape, or form, that's either excessive use of force, somebody will sue you just like that i say that junior officer made a very great decision for her and her comrades on scene the officers in the next incident didn't attack a fellow colleague but treated an army lieutenant who had just returned from serving his country in the most despicable oh manner. no way how did we get here? Hold While up. Returning from deployment, U.S. National Guard B Lieutenant Karen Nazario was pulled over by Officer Daniel Crocker of the Windsor Police Department in Virginia for a Fire potential license pulled. plate like, violation. Oh. Instead of stopping, and you have your gun pulled. Lieutenant Nazario drove to a gas station to pull over, a decision that angered the officers and led to a highly tense and ultimately disastrous encounter. Put your hands out the window and turn the vehicle off. Put your hands out the window! How did we get here just because he pulled into a gas station because it could be possibly safer than parking on the road? He didn't run. How many occupants are in your vehicle? It's only myself. Why are your weapons drawn? What's going on? Open the door slowly and step out! Open the door! I'm not getting out the vehicle. What's going on? Get out the car! Keep your hands outside the window. My hands are right here. What's going on? Get out of the car now. Get out of the car. What's now. going on? Get out of the car now. The lieutenant's hesitation to exit his car was understandable. I mean, I get it. I'm not going to get out if there's guns fact, pointed at me. Their weapons drawn and pointed at him. Get out of the car. Give now. me a reason. I'm in this country and this is how I'm treated. Yo, look, guess what? I'm a veteran too. I don't know. Obey. That's get out of the car. Know how to What's obey? Obey what? Work with us and we'll talk to you. You have a gun on somebody for no reason. Obey it. A license plate violation. I'm a, I'm honestly a there are good. guns Can drawn because of a license plate well, violation. What did I do? I have not committed any crime. You're being stopped for a traffic violation. You're not cooperating at this point right now. You're under arrest for a traffic. You're being detained. Okay? You're being detained for, for a traffic. The officers escalated the incident further when they aimed their firearms directly at the lieutenant's face and tried to forcibly enter oh his my vehicle. Goodness. It didn't end there. The situation escalated even further when the other cop, Officer Gutierrez, decided to physically engage with the lieutenant. Get out of the car now. Get out of the car. Get your hands off me, Get please. The... Get your hands off me. You know what? Back up there. I didn't do anything. Oh, supervisor immediately. Don't do that. Sir, get out of the car now. Bro, Sir, I'd be like, you better. Call your supervisor. Yeah, I'm trying to talk to you. Okay. I'm trying to I'm talk to you. Out. Just out can you please? Ain't out? Like, no I'm way. In this country, and this is how you're gonna treat me. I didn't do anything. I ain't seen oh, this much disrespect. Hold on. Hold on. You would think like they would have respect for our service man. Why does he keep going, bro? You just soaked his face. 
Sir, just get out the that car. is messed up. Get up, get out of the car and I understand the compliancy, but like, he's escalating to that situation way more than he needs to for a license plate violation. Like, this is crazy. The lieutenant was treated in a deplorable manner, but this was just the beginning of their mistreatment, as these unruly officers had more tricks up their sleeves. Get on the ground and get sprayed again. Get on the ground. Please talk to me about what's going on. Get on the ground. Get on the ground now. And they haven't said anything. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Why am I being treated like this? Why? They haven't said anything about his charges. Why he's being pulled out of the vehicle. I mean, there's no reason. I can't being treated like this. And I'm down, you're going to get paid. Oh, dude, I'd be suing for like 500 grand plus. I agree. 110%. You're done. The officer's voice was shaky, and he appeared to be in tears from the treatment he was enduring. The officers then proceeded to have a conversation with him, an action they should have taken initially. Exactly. Can you open up the window for my dog? I hear him choking. Can you open up the window, please? Yes. Thank yes, we will. Why did it stop? Why did it stop? The simple truck is dark over there. Those areas are dark. I did not feel comfortable. All right, sir. Felt, hold on. You felt more comfortable here, okay? Coming here was not the problem. The problem is when you refuse to get out of the car. When you, we got here and you stepped out of the car, I can promise you this would have been over by now. Tell what happened. Why wouldn't you comply? I looked out the mirror and I saw guns drawn. I put my hands out. And we told you. We identified ourselves, told you to step out of the vehicle. Yeah, he did put his hands out, dude. He had nothing in his hands. Simply walk up to the door, put your weapon away, and ask why did you not stop? Like, simple as it is. The officers immediately went into damage control mode. Alright, how's your eyes doing, Kevin? Better. We can either sit here with you. How's your eyes doing, Lieutenant? Where's that respect in the beginning? This is your safe to drive, okay? Go do your deployment. Go continue serving my country, which I respect and I thank you for, okay? Or oh nah write you tickets for no uh license plate display and for resisting or not resisting or obstructive justice i don't even need to go that route because that route makes the army get involved and i know how they are but if you plan on making a certain Bro, career or even six years or whatever it's up to i'd be life. suing for everything there's no need that guy that. there was no reason I, that I that guy should have been pepper sprayed hand, so i wouldn't feel right not talking to them okay. about it so well, I, that's entirely I, 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 I'll, put, gonna, I'll put it this way then for you they're gonna hear from you the officer's tactics failed as the lieutenant filed a lawsuit immediately after Amen. the incident. He was initially awarded 3650 in damages, but subsequently filed an appeal in court. He only got 3600 for that? I seen something about a million in there, but if he only got 3600 for being pepper sprayed for no reason at all, like I would I want to see the dash cam footage of how long it took him to stop. Because at the end of the day, what was the reason for the pepper spray? He had his hands out the window, he was fully compliant i mean the scene was already under control and they decide to pull out weapons escalate the situation yelling at the lieutenant and also deploying pepper spray in his eyes and as well as his mouth so he couldn't even hardly breathe his dog is in the car simply all for a license plate violation whoever is the commander chief anything like that commissioner i don't even know what they have for the highest but whoever is you need to reassert your officers here because that's insane in the next case both the sheriff and the sergeant threatened to arrest each other you get on my traffic stop again i will arrest I'll, you yeah i'll arrest you do it buddy and we're gonna do it charges do it your ignorance. ain't no way you're arguing in front of a sergeant james of the high sovereign like a citizen right there i don't speak right there after after observing it driving recklessly but a citizen you're arguing Georgia. in front of a citizen What's your hurry? You're very recklessly from the city all the way here, man. In and out of traffic, not using right. turn signal. Man, I watched you. It took me this long to catch up to you. I'm sorry. You were 70 plus. I didn't think I was up. I checked you at 65. I'm sorry. What's your hurry? I just, I gotta get my medication. You gonna drive, okay. try to kill people over no, medication? No, no hey. it helps with my anxiety. If that car in front of you would have slammed I will say race, though, you would have caused a wreck right here. He is being straight up, he's professional, blunt. 
Then Sergeant James handed the cop doing his job to right. Driver, and that's when a Towns County Sheriff walked up and began asking the driver his own questions. What happened next was quite amusing to watch. Why did you hop on a traffic stop? Like that, man. Oh, yeah, I'm traffic right. heavy, okay? All right, be careful. Sir, got a question. Yes, what? Uh, come on, man. Inside the city or out here? Uh, just right here. Okay. Uh, pull, uh, uh, so go pull the video at Valero. You get on my traffic stop again, I will arrest I'll, you. Yeah, I'll arrest you. Right now, do it, buddy. And we're going to do it. Charge you. Do it. Your egg. Do it. Dude, do power it. hungry. He literally had no reason to pull up. Shut your mouth. You don't talk to me like that. I'm not your boy. Talk to you, boy. You a boy. Thank you. And he's a state patrol. He's a state trooper versus a deputy. State troopers have more higher jurisdiction. Sheriff's departments have been at odds. Oh, he's a city police. The Georgia Bureau Never mind. of Investigation is involved. Never mind. Never mind. I thought he was state. I thought he was state. You guys shouldn't even be fighting over anything just because at the end of the day, I mean, you guys are boys in blue. You guys are all brothers, right? Our officers shouldn't be fighting on traffic stops like that. Either way, shape or form, if I was wearing a badge, I would not approach another officer like that, especially in front of a citizen of the community, because that just makes you and that other other officer look absolutely terrible take it back to the station that's all i got to say simple as it is keep it off the visual streets of the roadway the next case was fight for dominance as officers from the tribal police for clashed dominance. with jail what? officials over custody of a suspect over custody of a suspect hey bro i'd be like you got here bro i don't want to hug you on December 18th, 2023, officers what from the White House Police world? Department, a tribal law enforcement unit, stormed the Okmulgee County Jail to serve an arrest warrant to a non-native man they had arrested a few days earlier, but they were met with utmost resistance. I'm not taking You guys are taking I'm not taking County Central, do not roll my pre-book into Sally Port door. Well, we can stay here sure. all day. That's what we're going to do until you take him out of my building. I'm not taking him. Sir, I'm not taking him. You're the one committing. Crime, not no, I'm not, sir. Yeah, I have not accepted him in my facility yet. He's a jail guard, bro. Are for He's not even a cop. Members who break the law. The suspect they were attempting to apprehend in this instance posed a challenge as he was non-native, falling outside their jurisdiction. Instead, jurisdiction belonged to the sheriff's office. Nevertheless, the tribal officers got a persisted point. in pursuing their action. They got a point. <laughs> Open this. What is happening here? What is going on? As the tribal officers persisted in their attempt to gain entry, jail staff intervened, and the situation quickly escalated Wait, okay, into a messy pause. confrontation. Hold up. The guys in green are tribal officers. Okay. Captain. No, come on. Sorry. Nope. Out of my building, gentlemen. You're gonna go with us, I promise. See, you keep Get putting your hands off of Wait, I'm confused. So, are the guys in blue the tribal jail guards? Or, like. Nation. No, it's the guys in green. Actually, that's a few else. My life is going too. They're refusing to take it. Yeah, we don't recognize the RDA Okay, this is the state of Oklahoma. That's the only option. It is a director saying the The director of police? Yeah. The tribal officers eventually had to back down and leave the prison premises, but later, an arrest warrant was issued for the prison staff on charges of assaulting a law enforcement. See, I was a little confused there. I thought the guys in blue were the tribal, like, jail staff. I thought that's what it was referencing in the beginning, but that's a law enforcement officer. Y'all are jail guards. Y'all work with each other on a daily basis, so there shouldn't be any beef between any each others about who owns this or who owns that. I mean, dude, there's a suspect in custody and there's charges on the table. That is the biggest priority right now. And if that guy's got a warrant, somebody Somebody's got to serve it. At the end of the day, they'll work together because y'all literally work with each other every single day. Next case was all about ego and the situation nearly spiraled. You know where that's going to go. You're not going to talk about chief like that, sir. That's talk to my chief like that. You can get the f out of my face. I don't give a f who you are. On January 30th, 2024, a Lexington police officer spotted a vehicle <laughs> exceeding the speed limit. Oh my goodness. A traffic Something stop must have happened. The driver over. However, as he approached the driver, he was surprised by who he was dealing with. 
Hello. Why? Who is he? He's just a guy in a cowboy hat. You you don't even look like a cop. Why are you going to a SWAT call out? I didn't know we had one. We have armed guy barricaded in the house. He used to be a police officer. And where at? Right down here on. They got drunk or something. I didn't know like they responded with cowboy hats. Here in Lexington? Yeah. We have an armed person, but we, we don't know about. It. He doesn't look like any shape or form law enforcement. The person caught speeding was Cleveland County Sheriff Chris Amison, who was hurrying to a SWAT call. Surprisingly, the Lexington Police Department was unaware of the situation, prompting the officer to call his chief to inquire about it. Just four minutes later, the officer arrived at the standoff. Oh, so that means they kept chief out the Johnson. Lexington chief police. Was visibly upset about being kept in the dark regarding Yo. the situation. And soon Our, expressed hey, that's his jurisdiction. He is mad. We've realized that I'd like to know what's going on in my own damn city. We would have notified you, sir. We would have? Yeah. Hold on. I've been at the city. I've been down there at the PD hall. I would have notified you. Okay, I don't know who the First of all, sir, I know the chief is not I'm just telling you I appreciate I don't appreciate all of this going on and nobody notifying me the damn thing about it. With tensions already high due to the standoff, Woo! the Cleveland County deputies started to walk away. Oh man, that means there's gonna be some people in trouble. Was not finished. Okay. I'm sorry, what's your name? Sir, I am too. You're not going to talk about chief like that, sir. That's not going to happen. You can get the f out of my face. I don't give a f who you are. Okay? This is my county, too. Back up, back up. <laughs> Bro, hey, you don't. You're going to catch charges. Chill out. Back up. Everything's going to be okay. But you need to back up. I get it that you're cheating. You can back up. Negative. Why is this even happening? Okay. Sheriff, you need to back up out of my face, sir. You have no authority. That, you're not going to tell me what to do, mother. You're not going to get in my sheriff's face. You want to do that? Just like you told me. Whoa. There's going to be a lot of people losing jobs. Thank hey, if this continues. Oh, yeah. Perfectly clear. Perfectly clear. Come on. Just run that. Chief Johnson stepped in to pull his officer back, and Sheriff Amison told them to leave. The situation did not escalate further. Oh my it goodness. Appears that both agencies have some underlying Enjoy issues. You know, they ain't gonna ever work together ever again. None of those guys. That just destroyed that law enforcement agency's relationship. You know, damn right, they ain't gonna help nobody process anybody. But that is so crazy that this actually happens. Because at the end of the day, y'all take the same oath that everybody takes. And it's to serve and protect the justice of the community what is so hard about working together is it just because y'all are wearing different uniforms y'all drive different cars i don't know these are rare accidents that do occur and happen within the law enforcement agency and it's just like any other employer if you have beef with an employer or employee it's kind of like the same orientation there but at the end of the day they do jobs that a lot of people don't do and a lot of people could not do so have respect for our boys in blue have respect for the law enforcement community and we should appreciate them other than that that wraps it up for the video today if you guys did enjoy make sure to hit that like hit that subscribe ring that notification bell and it helps videos grow and get to viewers like you comment down below what video intrigued you the most other than that it's been fun it's your boy arrow and i'm gonna see y'all in the next video peace